Hello all, welcome to oratraining.com. In this session, we'll discuss about the common navigation details which are required for the technical user. Let's, let's get into the outline. We'll understand what is a login URL generally you come across and you know what are the details you require to log in and setting an action, application work area, ease job execution, security console, sandbox, and report. So let's see like a, how do you log into Fusion ERP? So generally, if you want to log in or if you want to work in a Fusion, generally you require three things. One is login URL of your Fusion ERP. Next one is username and a username, and then is a password. And of course, the very important one is the appropriate roles for your user. Okay. So these are the common details which you require when you want to get into Fusion. Okay. So now, once you log in, what are the things you need to understand, right? Because this is an ERP application, you may have a different set of links. We have to understand which link goes to where, right? So assume that you log into Fusion and the screen may look like similar to this one. And uh, here, if you observe, the screen may vary based on the theme which got applied to your instance, okay? Now, the top level one, which you observe here, right? This is a global work area. And here, the left side one, which is a, you know, like a hamburger icon, you call it as are three horizontal lines. This is called navigator. Okay, now, and the other one in the global global work area, the other thing which you, see, which you could see here, this is called global search, where you can search the people, the task or many other extra information. Next one is this particular star is, uh, is nothing but you know favorite. And the other one, this particular icon is like home icon. When uh, let us say if you have navigated to your some other place in the application, and if you want to come back to the home, just simply click on this particular button, we'll get to home. Next one is favorite. Like uh, if, let us say if you are frequently searching set of set of set of pages, you know, like a simply you can just add add them to favorite so that you know you can just see the favorite list and you can navigate to that particular page in a very fast manner. Next one is a watch list, and other one is a set of notification which you which are assigned to for your for your particular logged in user can be information or action. And this particular area, what you see and now, let us say here, once you log in, generally it, it tells you based on the time. It says like a, who is a user and who is a uh, like a, what is the name they call he, he or she will be called as. Like in this case, it is called as system administrator internal in, and the actual username is Cassie Brown. But you know, like uh, as per the application. The username is system administrator, you know, like uh, it will be called as system administrator. Okay. Now, coming to other thing here, if you observe, right, this highlighted portion, it is called springboard. This highlighted portal, highlight, this highlighted portion, this is called springboard. And now in this one, there are a lot number of things like, you know, order management, supply chain management, receivables. So for an ERP application, when you log into the use, when you log into system, and you may come across a certain set of particular job, like, um, Every user who is logged into every user who works in a company may have will have a certain set of jobs he has to he or she has to perform right the same way when a log when a user is created in the ERP we have to configure what role this user belongs to and what all actions he can do it so similarly for this Cassie Brown here if you observe they, he has you know his system administrator and he has a large number of functionalities and in this one generally whatever you see this particular in the top level area this is called application right now let us say in the receivable application we have four work areas like that in the receivable application we have four work areas and this work areas are again will have some other some other extra functionality let us see that information also okay so now let us say once you log once you click on billing application billing work area what do you see when you click on billing work area you will observe again these set of things the set of sections may vary based on the page you generally come across, but most of the pages will have these set of particular set of sections. The left side here, what you call it's called infotile area, which provides the, the crisp information about, you know, like a count based information, like a zero approved or 12 approved, 10 got rejected, something like that. That's called infotile area. And the middle one here, it is the generally a table region, it's called section, okay, and which provides you appropriate hyperlinks for the purpose of edit, delete, update, create kind of thing. And the top level area, we know it's called global area. And the right side one, the very important one, it, it is called panel tab. In this, you know, you'll have three things, like one is the, the set of uh, set of functionalities for the purpose of, you know, performing the appropriate CRUD operations, like create, update, or manage kind of thing. Other one is search, and the other one is a analytics functionality. Nothing but the set of, you know, like uh, the reports which are assigned for this particular work area, okay? 
So now coming to the other one, right? So now when you clicked on user account, right? When so as of now we have seen earlier that you know like we could we have seen search favorite notification all those things right but when you click on your username it shows a very important one called settings and action so what why it is so important because here using the setting action act settings and action you can change the preferences you can change the password you can click on setup and maintenance you know like a setup and maintenance the name itself says that you can set up or configure your particular erp from this particular link you can configure your erp instance or you can also navigate to larger number of tasks from this particular link and also you can see all the foundation set of you know links like a uh, managing a value set managing flexifield or you know managing your business unit large number of all configuration information you can do from the setup and maintenance and you can highlight the flexi fields and you can check out what is a version of your particular erp so these set of things you can see from the setup and act action now coming to the other one ess job execution so to run any es job or to just view the list of jobs which are already executed simply you have to navigate to tools and schedule processes okay now coming to the next one how do you navigate to the report so sorry to navigate to the report you have to click on tools and in the tools you have to click on report and analytics it will go here and here you can just either click on browse catalog or you can just in the drop down you can click on create you can you know like using that also you can create a report or simply you can just simply go to browse catalog so it will directly go to the catalog from there you can create a bi report or otp report okay see the other very important one security console using this security console what you can do you can create a user you can create a role you can you know like a check reset the password and also you can link you can link but your user to you know like the appropriate ldap or a, like a single sign sign in functionality you can all you can do it from this particular console okay so these are the very much very important uh, you know like a navigation links generally for a technical user or even for the functional user also will will generally come across these particular links okay so the other one sandbox so if at all if you want to extend your application nothing but let us say if you want to change set of set, like you want to create a custom links or you know like you want to enable disable a particular button and you know like you will find lot number of tools like here if you observe in the sandbox like uh, these number of tools which are available as of now for the latest version and if at all if you want to navigate to sandbox you have to click on configuration and the sandbox once you navigate to sandbox you can it shows this list of tools you can select the appropriate tool and you can create a sandbox okay so this is a navigation for the sandbox okay so these are the all the list of common used functionalities or common used navigation links for a technical or a functional user okay that's all for this session thank you